compose des sons qui viennent de la fin de la vie, pour le temps qu'il va faire la fête, ça ne va pas être le temps de la vie. Et on ne sait pas que moi, je suis en train de me dire, et on ne sait pas que je suis en train de me dire. Uh, 
the conflict of norms, which in India, the criminal behavior, is due to the fact that there are various ethnic or plastic, uh, plastic groupings of people and higher cultural patterns of behavior that are inconsistent with uh, the uh, dominant injunctions against certain types of crimes. So these evil patterns of behavior are supported by the particular subculture norm that actually exerts pressure towards deviation from the conceptual norms underlying criminal law. So the subculture it exerts pressure. Sometimes uh, someone who innocent uh, go into uh, into that subculture. But then as the, the time goes, let's say uh, it's a group of things, right? <laughs> they will want you to also steal at some point. Right? So if you say, I don't need a guy to the way you mean you should just be enjoying what we are stealing. <coughs> now it is what happened. Right? And so on. So can you solve that? possess norms about how to behave. Some of the young people began to take the place of parents. As the giver of the norms. So we find that the, the, some of the younger uh, people, instead of uh, being influenced by parents, they are actually being influenced by this guy. So the young take that place uh, <coughs> of uh, the parents. Even when parents are tempted to steal the instill their own parents. I will tell you the story of my uh, uh, our our friend who was a son of the Lord. Right? You would expect a son of the Lord right? to be well behaved and so so forth and things like that. And this guy, he was leading, uh, not a criminal, but uh, an unapologetic guy. Right? So, he would do anything to get money in order to uh, pay, right? including going up to the city, right, to his father's bedroom, and announcing that uh, uh, he was the coach, <laughs> and that he and the father should give him money. Why is he disobeying the people's law of the people? So you uh, see, <laughs> the uh, young people, they, they can go to some length. Um, when I was a body master, we saw some toilet boys belonging to various groups. And uh, some of them we used to call it. Sometimes 
So the difference may be between the old and new values, local and important values, traditional values, and the government imposed values. So these would pose conflicts, right? Which people uh, may want to break. For example, uh, government imposed values. Government says, okay, I'm going to live here. Thank you. 
и не двигается. На уделе я буду все принять. И не Thank you. 
How many times, if you went to the market, uh, the main market, how many times do you, you will see that uh, most of the commodities there, right, you have been smuggled into this country? If not, uh, some of them, they say during times of scarcity and so on and so forth, like right now, uh, when maize will be uh, bought, people will buy maize at some very low price from the farmers because that bank has not uh, opened the market. What would that take? until January next year, okay? when they can sell it uh, exploitatively uh, and so on and so forth. The reason for doing that is because of uh, talk. They want to make more money. Okay? There was a situation in the um, area 49 during the fuel crisis and so on and so forth. Because of what you do, it is so far. So, the uh, economic uh, situations are great. Uh, now, the psychosocial theory of time is uh, the other one that uh, we have to uh, look at. Now, under this one, um, it is said that the criminality or criminal behavior is a uh, learned one and it is learned through social interaction. As we can interact with people, we learn. Uh, criminal uh, behaviors. Um, these theories can be divided into two. There is uh, what is called the control theories and then the social learning the control theory assumes that the motive to deviate is relatively constant across people. So people will often behave antisocially unless they are trained not to. So, in this theory, what it says is that the Human beings have got a tendency right, to break in the law. Have got a tendency to criminal behavior. But they can be trained not. So a term as they grow, they will go some year sugar. Yeah. Or to steal or to keep things around the house. Right? Which is not belong to them. And they should train them to say, I have good here. That behavior is uh, wrong. Then they will stop. So that is the uh, control theory. It 
In other words, this theory says that the human beings require nurturing so that they, be, they develop positive behaviors and they um, those positive behaviors they will produce internal controls such as the conscience. to say that uh, they are beauty. For external controls, such as shame, to feel shameful, and so on. Those are meant to be because if they are not learned, then someone will not feel beauty or may not feel um, cautious or may not feel shame. For example, child disorders that the Laurent Kabira and the other people uh, use or they used to use. These boys were adapted was very young and they are taken to military camps and they are told, go, here is a machete you smash off this guy's uh, head do you think that guy will have any questions about killing you by the news? no will they feel guilty that they are Flash for somebody there? No. Would they feel ashamed? <laughs> they are like, no. So, control theory talks about those kinds of things. So, according to this theory, Crime is the result of insufficient attachment and commitment to others. That if there is no attachment and commitment to others, then people will be um, will have that tendency uh, to. Uh, so he explains the various uh, according to which he came up with this model which he, he was trying to explain uh, the uh, control Theory. He says that there are four control variables. One is attachment, two is movement, three is emotion, and four is belief. So, under those circumstances, how would the crime manifest itself? In terms of what I asked how strong or weak is the individual relationship with the art? So, the stronger the attachment and the stronger the expectation, the more likely it is that the individual will perform. So, if this someone is in a to a thing of that. And then they tell them what to do. If that attachment is strong, they will perform. For instance, the more I 
o convite de seu filho para te clamar esse cara no horizonte. Bem mais, bem reparado. Abençoou, de modo que as luz e de líquidos em volta de um crânio. So, attachment will either be positive or negative. Commitment will either be positive or negative. The more you are attached to a certain situation, the more you will want to refrain from certain uh, lifestyles, including humanity. Uh, you feel I find it easier by people and things like that. In what I write, it also happens. I remember one time when I was young and I just started working, uh, some European uh, political of mine. Well, there was a job in Tanzania in the States. Tomorrow, 
you are dead, you will go to this side. You will die with rights. So you will tell me, I will be here. I will die in poverty with rights. So I will tell you, I will not go to work. Let's see if you will be where you are. So, criminal behavior is left. 